What did Jesus mean when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except by me? Jesus had a very different meaning from me. You see, in the Bible it speaks, and this is something Yogananda pointed out, that uh, he speaks of the Son of Man, and he speaks of himself also as the Son of God. There's a very deep meaning in this, which even translators and uh, writers of the Gospels didn't always get right. But Son of God and Son of Man, Son of Man means Jesus Christ the man. Son of God means that, well, let me explain it in a metaphysical way. God, when he created the universe, had nothing to create it out of. He only had his own consciousness. You can't even speak of that consciousness as infinite because it's, it's the only thing that is. For a thing to be infinite means that it has to be something to compare it to. But when he decided to create, and this is what it says in the Bible, it says um, God, there was darkness on the face of the deep. And God, when he created the universe like waves on an ocean, he created vibration, movement. And in that vibration, you have the um, basis of all creation. In other words, matter itself. And this is a truth that could only be taught in, since about 1905 when it was discovered that matter is made of energy. It has no substance in itself. Everything is energy. Everything is vibration. And so when God created vibration, this is what it means in the Bible when it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Most people think the Word means the Bible. Well, the Bible couldn't have been written when there was no paper to write it on. And the Word means just as <clears throat> my words are the vibration of my thoughts. So God's Word singular, is the vibration of his thought. That vibration is the, as it says in the book of Revelation, these things saith the Amen, Om, Amen, the Holy Ghost. These are words to express that infinite vibration in which all creation exists. But vibration is moving, and God is everywhere. And so that means that his still vibration beyond creation has to be reflected in every atom of creation. So at the still heart of everything moving, there is that vibrationless consciousness reflected. That reflection of the infinite consciousness is the Christ. And you can't come to the infinite consciousness of God except through that vibration of stillness in creation. And this is why the Catholic Church says that you have to go to Jesus through the Virgin Mary, because Mary represents Om, the feminine aspect of God. God the Father, God the Mother, and the two of them produced the Son, the vibrationless spirit reflected in every pinpoint of space. And so to come to God that is what Jesus meant when I am the way, the truth, and the light. Nobody can get that. He didn't mean I, Jesus Christ. He meant the truth that he represented and that he himself had realized.